Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to explain to you what is and how to work with the unique content block feature of Uncode. The content block is a custom post type that creates a fragment of content that can be imported and used by another page, post, or by a WordPress template. The content block can be used to create page headers. This helps to better focus on the design and features of the header itself. It can be used to create dynamic headers that are shared among multiple posts or pages. An example are the blog post headers that use a common content block matrix. The design is centralized and each one shows its specific content. It can be used by website designers to create fascinating WordPress category pages and completely custom archive layouts with the power of the page builder. It can be used to create every type of footer layout. It can be used to create custom related posts or custom related project sections. It can be used to create any other content you want to include on multiple pages or in different positions of your website. For example, a banner section or a newsletter box. It can be used to create dynamic templates that you can use as a matrix for the layout of your blog or portfolio pages. Or it can be used to create custom WooCommerce single product templates to create fascinating product pages. All the content blocks are stored within their reserved menu in the main sidebar of the WordPress dashboard. Here you find the list of all content blocks and from here you can manage them all or create a new one. Let's create a new content block. It's possible to edit the content blocks like any other custom post type. You can use the backend page builder, which is useful for a quick and schematic editing experience. Here I'm creating a simple banner, and here we are with a basic structure. You can also use the much anticipated front end editor that allows you to edit your pages on the front end. You can see your modifications in real time and design coming to life. We have our new heading and our call to action button. Working with content blocks is exactly like creating any section of a page, but with the advantage that the content can be shared among multiple pages. So nothing changes in your creative workflow. Let's make some simple modifications to our content block, like changing the alignment and the main heading text. The great thing about content blocks is that when a content block is modified, all its instances are automatically updated on all of the pages where it is used. In this example that we played at double speed, you can see that a simple content block banner section is modified and the change is updated in all the pages that import this content block. Pretty interesting, right? As anticipated, one of the most frequent uses of the content block is to use it for the creation of headers, both static and dynamic. Creating a header with a content block is exactly the same as creating a normal content section on a page with Page Builder, with the difference that the content block header is external to the page and it's linked to the final page by the page options or theme options. So you can use all the elements made available by Page Builder and all their options to create any kind of layout, such as rows and columns, headings, buttons, icons, animations, shape dividers, just to name a few. Let's finish the latest adjustments to the header layout. Cool one. When you're ready with the design, all you need to do is link the content block to the page you want to use it using the page options header. In fact, in the page options header, among the various options, there is the possibility to choose the content block type and assign a specific content block. In this example, I'm connecting to this page the content block header I was working on a few seconds ago. The one with the purple background, the iPhone and the shape dividers. Let's save the page and test it out now that the content block header is connected. Here we are. With this method, it's possible to create fascinating headers that take advantage of all the flexibility and options of the page builder using the tools you normally use to create page contents. So please remember that if you import demo contents, you will find most of the demo homepage's page headers 
connected by the page options header. The header is never the first action of the page, but it is almost always external. Content block headers can also be complex designs with multiple slides and animations when created with the content slider module. Thanks to the content block, you have a native, lightweight, and fully integrated method to create site headers without the need to depend on extra plugins, such as Slider Evolution or Layer Slider, which are in any way included in the theme for those who want to use them. The content block can also be used for the creation of dynamic contents headers. An example is the blog post headers of the Uncode demo. Each one has the same design, but different, therefore dynamic, content. Let's see in detail. When working with the theme options, among the different options for the header type, you have the possibility to activate the content block method and select a content block. This is also the default option you have after you install the demo contents. A content block can be edited with the backend builder or the frontend editor. So let's open it with the frontend editor. Let's make a modification, such as modifying the font family and font size. Let's save the content block and go to refresh our pages. Perfect. As you can see, when the content block is modified, all its instances are updated at once. As you can note, each blog post has the same layout but its own contents. This is possible through the dynamic options. If we open the row settings, it's possible to see the dynamic background option is enabled. This option makes possible to use the blog post's feature image as the background image of the row, while the selected background image is used as fallback. Another example is the heading module dynamic heading text option set to get the title that allows the heading module to be used to automatically display the title of each article. So thanks to these dynamic options, it's possible to create practically any kind of header for our blog posts or for our pages, portfolio projects or products, since these options are available not only for blog posts, but for any kind of post type. In addition to the dynamic options, there are also dedicated modules such as the Infobox module. For example, this module is used to show specific attributes of each blog post, such as date, author, categories, comments, and reading time. Let's test a few changes. For example, let's remove the category element and add the comments. Or, for example, I can modify the style of the author element. That's it. Save the content block and test it. Here we are. We have the number of comments of each article and we modified the author layout. As you can see, thanks to the content block and the dynamic options, it's possible to use the page builder to define a design that can be used among multiple pages. The creation of this design is centralized and the possibilities are practically endless. Another advantage of the content block is that it can be used for the creation of custom category pages. In fact, with Uncode, thanks to the content block, it's possible to use the page builder to define the layout of the WordPress categories templates, like the blog, portfolio and product indexes, the categories and tags archive, the search results, and so on. In other themes, these layouts are based on a series of preset designs, and you'll never have the flexibility Uncode offers. This functionality allows you to take advantage of all the options of the Posts module, which has over 100 combinable options to create your unique design. In the previous example, we saw how to use the content block to create a custom header for our single post or page layout. The same works for the archive. We have a content block with dynamic options, set as header in the theme options posts header. Note that this time we are working in the archive group of options. 
I don't enter into details since it's basically the same setup discussed, and all the details would distract us too much from the content block concept. Just note that in this case, different information, such as title, the description, or a background image, that we don't have in this example, are pulled from the data you can enter in the editor of each category. Anyway, for more information, you can refer to the Category Page and Archives dedicated tutorial. Let's check how to define the content area. As you can see, also in the Content tab, there is the Content Block method and the possibility to assign a specific content block. Let's open it. The Content Block is based on a Posts module. This post module has the dynamic query option active at the bottom of the tab General. This option allows the module to be populated with a native WordPress query for a particular context. In a few words, when this option is enabled, the query that is used is the native WordPress query for that specific page and all the options of the build query are not taken into account. Now, the post module is using all the posts it finds since we are in the content block, this is just a preview of the creation of the layout. It is when the content block is used that the dynamic query really works. As you can see here, we have all the elements of all categories, while in the category pages, each one has only the elements of its own category. To better understand, this is a matrix that serves only for the creation of the layout. Thanks to the power of the Uncode Posts module, you can basically create infinite variations of layouts for your post loop. For example, now I use the matrix options to create a variation in the grid. I have the matrix amount set to three, so a modification applies to each element every three, and then repeats itself. Now it is not important to understand this specific option, that is quite advanced, but I just want to create an evident change and show you how the layout of the category pages that use this content block is modified accordingly. Let's save the content block and test the category pages. As you can see, they are updated as well. Perfect. Look at this variation. How cool. So thanks to the content block, you also have control over the WordPress Archive Templates hierarchy, and as you can see, you can create incredible creative layouts. The content block can also be used to create repeatable sections of contents shared among pages. For example, here, I've created a simple content block with a promotional advertising banner that I want to insert on several pages of my website. Thanks to the content block module of the page builder, it is possible to include the content block on any page created with the page builder. I have here the back end editor of the page I want to include the content block. I open the module selection. I select the content block module. And from the content block module options, I select the content block I want to use. Now I can drag the content block in the position I want to use. In this case, I want to insert it into the middle of the content. Save the page and test. I open this page in a new tab to preview the layout. Here we are with a content block. For convenience, I also have here another page where I have already linked the content block. If I now modify the content block, for example, let's apply some modifications like centering the layout and change the heading text. Just a few seconds. Let me finish the changes. I also insert a new promo text that I paste in the heading module. OK, now I've finished the changes to our content block promotional banner. And let's go see what happened. Refresh the page. And here we are.
This is useful to centralize content that you use in multiple parts of your website. If you or your client needs to make a modification, just do it in the content block and it will be automatically repeated on all the pages where the module is included. Pretty cool, right? In addition to what we have seen so far, there are other portions of Uncode where you can use the content block. An example is the after content areas that are generally used for the author profile or related posts, even if you can insert in these areas everything you need. In fact, in the theme options content, there are the after content content blocks options. These options are available for all post types. These are additional parts of the templates where you can include the content blocks. Thanks to this, you can apply any type of design to the related post section, which can be a carousel, a masonry, or a metro, just to name some possible diversifications. As you can see again, the content block allows you to use the page builder in portions of the page, where normally it would not be allowed, and to use all the options available to the page builder to create a unique design that conforms to your needs. The content block can also be used to create amazing dynamic single page layouts. For example, you can create the template for your blog posts or the template for your portfolio items. Similarly, it can be used to define your WooCommerce product pages layout to create every possible type of layout. Since these are detailed topics, I refer you to the Dynamic Elements video and WooCommerce product builder tutorial for all the details. Another application of the content block is for the use of the footer creation. The process is the same illustrated for the header and other areas. Both in the theme options and in the page options, you have a dedicated content block option for the main footer area. So it's possible to create with the page builder a footer design and then apply it to all pages of the site. Do not think of the footer as a classic footer layout. You can apply an image, a call to action, a form and everything that comes to your mind since basically it's a fragment of content you edit with the page builder. So, thanks to the content block, also the footer, which on many WordPress themes can only be edited through presets of options, becomes easy to edit according to your needs. In a few words, there is no limit to creativity. What do you think? Do you like the content block? Once you've experimented with the creative possibilities, you won't be able to live without it anymore.